What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today, we are doing another kind of ghost straight pour. Uh, the success that my last one had makes me want to experiment more. So I do have my ghost white here. It's the same mix I've been using. And th then I have a fluorescent green and a Prussian blue. And then the, the black that I typically use as the base because I really love the way the whites kind of bleed out. But the whole goal of this, with this experiment, is to try to get some colors introduced into the white and create some kind of gradients. And I think that would be really cool. So we're going to start just by layering the cup. There is silicone in these colors now. So that was the addition to this. Prussian blue has silicone, two drops. And the fluorescent green has silicone also. I'm trying to possibly incorporate some cells into this as well. The Prussian blue, I'm hoping that it, it blends really well with this white so we can create some really cool color combinations. Same with the fluorescent green. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing amazing. I am having a great day here. Went to a 4th of July barbecue last night with the family. Had fireworks, great times with wonderful people. I had an absolute blast spending time with everybody last night. Had a pig roast and just all kinds of great food. It was a, such a good time, but I hope everybody else is having an amazing 4th of July as well. The time where I'm gonna be moving is coming up really soon and I am ecstatic about this move to Arizona. It just can't come fast enough. I'm almost like a, a kid waiting on Christmas. So, but yeah, I'm just layering these colors. I am adding white in certain parts where I'm adding the, the other colors as far as the fluorescent green and the Prussian blue, just to see if I can get that white to kind of incorporate with those colors when they flow out of the cup. That's what I'm hoping for. I know that this Prussian blue is going to dry darker and it might almost dry pretty close to that black color, but that's why I'm trying to lay it out over the brighter colors so that way at least we have a little bit of contrast to work with. This white is a very dense color. You can see that it's just sinking down, down, down into this cup, which will help later because it will allow us to see more of that white as we get further along to the bottom of the cup. So right now I think we are good with the layering. Let me move this black. No, I don't need to move it. But we're gonna start and I want to do the same thing where I was spinning the canvas but I think I want to alternate back and forth and try to create lines radiating out the sides. Now that's the goal. Sometimes the paint does what it wants to do regardless of what we want so we're still gonna see what we can get. So trying to keep a nice steady stream. The way it's coming out of the cup is kind of wonky because of I must have filled it too much. So we have a, it's kind of flowing back and forth across the rim. Oh, there's some of them colors coming out. Now the white is gonna be, like we saw, the white is sinking. So there's a good chance that a lot of our white has made it down towards the bottom. And that's going to be amazing as we get towards the end of this cup. I'm very excited for this move to Arizona for two reasons. It's always warm there or hot. 
depending on how you look at it. But also, I will be able to paint every day and do my experiments with you lovely people and kind of just share things I'm testing and trying out with you guys because I know that this is an expensive hobby, guys. I do. And a lot of us don't have the funds to be able to spend a bunch of money experimenting with different things. And I want to be able to kind of help you guys because you guys have helped me so much and you don't even know it. I'm just so grateful for the love and support that you guys give me. Well, we're starting to see some of that white coming out. Very wispy, delicate lines. Very, very nice colors. I'm not seeing as much of the green as I thought I would. And that's okay. Maybe the green will become more pronounced once we stretch. I, I'm not seeing a bunch of really stark white, which is good. That means some of these colors were blending. So, And we are getting a lot more white now that we're getting towards the bottom of this cup. Because the heaviness of the color made it sink. You can see that my hand is shaking more than normal because I have had some caffeine today. It was a very long night last night, but it was a great night. Ooh, I'm really liking this, the way this blue is coming out now. It is definitely kind of a much more blended Prussian blue. Like, I loved the white, but I want to be able to find a way to try to introduce some color into this too, so. And so far, from what I'm seeing, it is, it is working. I am starting to see a little bit more green than I was earlier. We're going to slow this stream down just a little. Try to get some really delicate folds. no drip all right so kind of like last time I am gonna let these whites kind of generate they're gonna do what they're gonna do that ghost white kind of blends and bleeds into the colors surrounding it I might give it a light little spin just to see some of it open up I am liking the really delicate, like sky blue going through there. It almost seems like just that green got completely eaten up, except for certain parts. Now, I'm hoping that the silicone is going to create some kind of effects. I am also going to take my heat gun and pop some of these air, air bubbles. Excuse me but it might also help pull some of those cells out of it. I'm not seeing anything really surprising happen yet, but there is time. And once we stretch it out, who knows, it might even reveal some of those greens underneath the surface. Because I'm sure they're not very far beneath the surface. I do want to slide this a little closer to the center. As I was pouring it, I wasn't keeping it directly in the center. And we are seeing some whites popping up just like on that last one. But I'm more excited to see the blues and maybe some of the greens emerge as we stretch this. 
So I think we're gonna stretch it, guys. All right, let's go. Just a nice, gentle spin. Doesn't have to have a whole lot of force to it. The paints are, there's plenty of paint on this canvas right now, so I know it's gonna flow to the edges. I'm already seeing these colors just open up and it's really doing some strange things compared to last time and it might be because of that introduction of the silicone into this mix but we're seeing a lot of cell structure around these wispy lines of white and I actually like that a lot I think it looks really cool and it's developing more and more as time goes by which that's really interesting so let me make sure all the corners are covered this is looking really kind of cool actually i like it i am going to take the heat gun to it one more time i want to see if we can generate any cells i'm not seeing any green so that that fluorescent green got completely gobbled up by that black had to have all right let's see if we can coax anything else to the surface here. It's very, very delicate. I love it. bring you guys down because I want you to see what it looks like now because I'm not sure if with the silicone or not if it's going to affect the drying process and it might and if it does of course I will tell you and we will revisit this afterwards when it's dry so we have some really defined tiny little cells going throughout these lines of the Prussian blue and the white it's created some pretty cool effects and I'm excited to like continue playing with this and come up with something very very different but we'll see when this one is dry so it ended up drying perfect no cracking, no crazing. All those little subtle bubbly lines kind of got a little bit bigger. But it, it dried amazing and it has some really great depth and I'm very happy with the way it ended up. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.